Good morning, Catfish Farmers. You are welcome to Fish Farming TV. This is another day for the practical, and we have already removed the female fish from the pond, and it's ready for spawning. The eggs are already dropping from the female fish. Look at the eggs. Are you seeing the eggs? So it's ready now for stripping so you have to stay tuned and see how we are going to do everything both this uh, saline water that we are going to use we are going to formulate a saline water using using a um, salt solution it's very effective for the sperm and i have um, i have my mail ready and it's handy here so and the pond where i will spread the egg is ready and everything is ready i'll use this container to form the saline water that i will use and this uh, this is the container i will use to strip the egg this one is for the sperm where i will pour the sperm and this is the salt solution that I will, uh, the salt that I will use to form the saline water. And I also have this net. This is the tiniest mosquito net. The flies cannot go out through this. I will use it to form the waste where, uh, where the water will be going out so that the flies cannot escape from the pond. That is what I will use this one to do. So stay tuned as we go. Let's start. Uh, this is the exit pipe, the waste pipe. So um, I'm trying to construct it. Just is this a regular mosquito net, the one that is very tiny. It's tinier than the one that we are using on the kakaban. The fries that is already harsh from the pond cannot escape from this one that is why we are using a net that is very very tiny nothing can pass through it so it's only breeze or something that is smaller than the fries is what that can pass through this thing so where is the cutter Need a razor blade. I use this razor blade to perforate uh, to cut the male abdomen. So you need it. Okay, no. Come. <coughs> okay, so I'm putting it at the waist end of this pond. Let me leave this so that I can be able to put it at the waist end. On the camera way. <clears throat> oh. so I've already put the waste. The drainage area now is secured for the fries they cannot escape 
so this pawner is ready for spreading of x in case if it's not in case if it's not uh, suspended very well you use stone this is a stone i use this stone to hold it down there i look at this area look at it it's being suspended at the middle of the water look at it at the middle of the water is okay now another stage now is that i want to create my saline water i want to create my saline water this method is very active use the cover this is a regular ever bottle water use this measurement because over over salt will kill your fries and if you don't have enough salt it will not work that's why i'm using this thing as the mode of measurement so that you can do it on your own without consulting any person <coughs> just this is just a a level of a level of this uh, this cover of this uh, ever bottle this is the this ever bottle is the one of a uh, hundred and hundred and fifty cl then a cover of this sort uh, a cover of this bottle is enough and i'll cover it here and shake it just a cover of it is okay Come open this water for me. Come open this water for me. I need to feed the water. I've already shaked this thing very well. So open it. Let me take some water. This is my <coughs> this is my regular borehole water. Um I'm not using any ever water. So this is just a container for measurement purpose so that you can do it on your own so this water now is ready for this purpose that you want to make use of it so let's go to the next stage now the next stage now is about stripping of uh, the eggs and opening the stomach of the mayfish this is the ray business now let's start so now i'm about to strip the eggs come bring the rag let me have the rag <coughs> oh god hold this hold it hold it very tight stop hold it hold it hold it hold that side leave the stomach again hold that side very tight uh, hi Good. This rag is not enough. Come, 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 come. Hold this thing. The, the egg is wasting. Hold this thing. sand everywhere let me remove all this sand sorry the fish just fell off my hands so it doesn't have any effect but i have to clean it clean some dates out of this place okay i have to press gently on the abdomen to strip the eggs 
the eggs are ready that's why it's coming out very freely like this this fish is too big so it's giving me some issues here yeah? you have already wasted some eggs on the floor already so there is nothing I can do I will only take the ones I see So you keep on pressing the abdomen until you start seeing some stain of blood. You know that the egg is finished. I was thinking that the fish is very weak, but I don't know that it's still active. So that's why the thing fell up my hands. I started seeing some stain of blood, so it's okay. I will return it to the pond. Turn that stick. I sure. have to return this one to the pond. Crap. This is the egg I got. It has already wasted some inside the on the floor so you can still make use of this one this one is enough this one is you are seeing here is more than fifty thousand fries Yeah, the next step now is the is the uh, male fish. Now we are going to dissect it and remove the sperm. Hold it very well. Turn it. Hold it very tight. <coughs> I have to open it. Just do exactly what I'm doing. Oh, sorry. There is nothing we can do than we must kill the this male fish must die for us to be able to reproduce any fish. So it's not it's not my fault but i feel sorry for you <laughs> so i'm trying to bring out the spam it's just down below you see it's if you have a matured okay, are you seeing it anywhere hmm? You want to know a matured let me see if this can leave the camera alone leave it so i want to remove the spam it's just down down the abdomen okay I've seen one. They are they are two in number. Look at it. I've seen one. Let me get the second one. You 
look at the second one remove this thing carry this thing carry this basin so look at it what i'm doing now, what i'll do now you have to wash off this blood out of this thing bring the camera sorry wait let me get water I have to wash, I have to wash it, wash the blood out of this thing. Wash it to be very neat from blood. Look at it, it's okay now. Look at it. So, this is my razor blade. I want to use it for to open it so that the meat will come out. That's what I'm doing because of my time. I'm rushing this thing now. Look at this, it's very milky. This is the sperm. Time to puncture this thing. So, please, if you are getting value for this video, please give us, uh, if this is your first time, please subscribe to our channel. And you have a, if you have any question, you are a previous subscriber, you have any question, you can drop it on the comment section below. Please like our video, share our video. So after this thing that I'm doing now, I will now use that salt solution that I prepared earlier. Look at it, very matured sperm. Look at how it looks. Very milky. And it's large. Get me the salt solution. Okay. Open it. This is the salt solution that we did earlier. Pour it inside here. Little by let me raise my hand. Pour. This is our salt solution that we had before. This. I have to wash it and remove all this sack. remove all this sack remove it because this thing can pollute your water remove it So yeah, you are you are this thing. Your spam solution should be milky like this. It should be milky like this. So it's ready now. I want to start my fertilization. Give me fresh water. Use that container to give me fresh water. Be fast. So this is my sperm. This is my this is my eggs that I just stripped from the female catfish. Look at this thing. This thing is a normal fresh water. So I will pour this thing inside here, inside these eggs. Okay. <clears throat> now I've already mixed the sperm inside this thing. Then this is the fresh water. Mm. 
I'm adding fresh water to it. Then I'll stir it. I'm stirring it already. Stir it very well. Come over. Come over. So the I will, I will filter the excess water. I'm filtering the excess water off. I'll filter the excess water off. This fertilization I've already taken place here. So I'll start spreading my eggs. Okay. I'm spreading my eggs now on the cutter ban. Spread it evenly. Don't scatter the eggs or keep it one place, even though they will die. Just evenly. Evenly. Spread it on the caca band. Bring the camera more down so you can see what I'm doing. Bring it very close. You can see the way I'm spreading these eggs. These are spoon and everything. Immediately this water, this fish, uh, this uh, eggs get to this place. They will just stick to the nets. This caca band that I'm spreading this egg on. They will just stick to that place waiting for for hatching. This can be spread in this thing. Do this thing. Shift your hand, shift your hand. Hold this thing. I don't know what they are pressing on this phone that is making this thing to stop.
we have come to the end of spreading the eggs on the kakaban as you can see it look at all the eggs that are spread look at them they are there now so after 24 to 48 hours the ashing will start okay thank you for watching god bless you bye bye